Hey guys, it's Eric from the Mature Minded Gamers Group, a group of adult gamers who have jobs and lives and a passion, always looking to add new members. Make sure you check out the link below to join us. Today I'm going to show you how to optimize your Streamlabs OBS. I've watched a lot of videos trying to get this just right and none of them really work just for me. And this video is probably not going to be the perfect solution for you either, but I'm going to show you some tips and tricks that I found over the years that will hopefully get you streaming at the best possible settings. All right, to get to your settings, there's a little gear icon in the bottom left. You click on that, it's going to pull up a window like this. We're going to start out on the output tab. This is where you set your streaming settings. And if you see here, there's a lot of different options. Now, if you are like me and you are currently streaming right now, you're not going to be able to edit any of these settings. So that, that's what's going on there. It's because I'm recording. Uh, but what, what you can adjust here is your encoder track. This one is one I've had a bunch of issues with. There is a, a hardware, this is in the NVIDIA setting right here. So if you have an NVIDIA card, there's one that's labeled this except it says new on it. And I was using it for the longest time because I thought it was the best thing out. However, my video card doesn't really work with it. And so I was running into issues. So if you have an NVIDIA card, you want it set for this setting if it's under a 2000 model. So if you have um, like a, a 1080 or a 980 or a 970 or any of those series or a 10 series or any of that, some there's one video card that's a 1600 series that will work with the new one. But if you have anything that's under that, basically you want to use the old hardware and video encoding. If you have one of the newer video cards, then you can use the new one and it's supposed to be great. Uh, there's also another setting in here that will, uh, it's called X264. <laughs> And that is for encoding with your CPU. So if you have a very beefy CPU, you want to use that setting. I recommend at least six cores if you do that, maybe more. So any of the new, brand new generations are going to be able to do that, I think. And it really depends on the game. So if you're playing a game and you're trying to stream it, and it's using a bunch of your video card, but your CPU is doing fine, then you probably want to use the X264. Uh, an opposite way, if you're playing a game that's using a bunch of CPU and your video card's fine, then you probably want to use the hardware version of the encoder, this one right here. I always recommend is uh, using rate control CVR. Uh, your bit rate is going to vary depending on, depending on what resolution you're trying to stream to. If you're trying to do 1080, you want to stream at about 6000 bit rate and actually be able to get the high def stream to go. You can stream a little bit lower than that, but it's the, then it's kind of low. It's lessening the quality, and this bitrate is basically the bandwidth that you're sending to the servers. So you have to have a really good connection. Uh, you, usually, if you're just streaming in 720p, you can get away with anywhere between 2,500 to 4,000 bitrate, and you're great. Keyframes. I always set this one to auto. I know some people set it to two. Um, just try it again. Just set it to whatever you think works best for you. Uh, quality. The the preset. So this is gonna be quality that it uses of the stream that it tries to uh, process and everything like that. Um, always set it on quality first, because that's gonna give you the best results, and then work your way down. So if you're getting lag, and it's not like you're getting frame rate drops, then you might lower it down to be faster. So just keep going, keep testing that, get it to where you want it to be. Profiles uh, set to high, that goes with all the, the, the defaults. You can adjust this as you want to. Uh, you always want your GPU set to zero unless you have multiple video cards. Uh, max B frames I always set to two as well. So that's those settings. I, I don't do anything with any of my audio settings personally. Uh, I don't think most streamers are going to really mess with that so we're not going to cover any of that. Uh, your video settings right here is your base resolution. I always set that to whatever obviously your monitor's base resolution is and then your output scale is whatever scale you're trying to output the stream to. So 1920 by 1080 is 1080 and then you can also do uh, 720p if you want set it set that there so whatever you're trying to stream at it has to be set there down filtering I always use uh, by cubic sharpening uh, you can change this again I've never really noticed a big difference personally on this but you, you can adjust it and see how you like better uh, common frames is what you want for this and then this is a big part a big portion of it if you're streaming at 60 frames it's gonna take up a lot more of your uh, processing power and your com your video card power so if you're struggling this is something simple that you can lower down to 48 or 30 frames per second and see if that helps your results out. All right, that is the main things that you're going to want to adjust with your Streamlabs OBS for 
uh, to, to mess with the performance of what you're getting. There's a ton of settings in here for other things. This is a really powerful tool, and I really enjoy it quite a bit. And it's by far my favorite uh, streaming tool that I've ever used. So hopefully this video helped you out. If you have any questions or comments, please post them below, and I'll try to help you out the best that I can. Thanks for watching. Have yourself a great day.